So, I've never heard of this game. I had no interest in this one. At all. I went to see it anyway. It's just the hill with cars and gamers instead of baseball and god. Great. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your BFF Snowy Oreo 663 here, right here, right now. And I just got done seeing Gran Turismo in the theater. I like playing video games myself, but I'm not really one for these kinds of racing games. What did I think of the movie? Well, it was... Predictable. Yeah, just like The Hill, you know everything about this movie before it even begins. Let me give you the setup. Young guy whose father disapproves of his interests wants to be a racer due to his obsession with the game Gran Turismo. A competition arises for one of the game's players to race in real car races. He is put up against nine other competitors and only one will win. He has a grizzled trainer who used to be the best in the business until he quit for some mysterious reason. I wonder how the story will go. Despite all of that, there were some elements that I really enjoyed. I think the actors did pretty well, despite being written as giant cliches. I mean, the girlfriend character in this movie has a single scene to set her up as a love interest, and then she's referred to as the main character's biggest interest outside the game. Her personality is the equivalent of sugar-free cereal. So bland. Sorry, sorry, we were talking positives. Uh, I did enjoy much of the editing in this movie, especially during the racing scenes. The quick cuts to black in between action shots really brought up the energy. I also love the sound editing. One of my favorite shots in the film is when the main character realizes that he is six seconds behind the driver in front of him. We then cut to a shot of the road, where the first car whizzes past the camera. Then, we sit in complete silence for six seconds, right before his car goes by as well. Stuff like that was super well done. I do have one quick spoiler thing I want to say. If you want to avoid that, skip ahead like 20 seconds. Three, two, one, here we go. So, how about him finding out that he killed a spectator in the stands? I thought that was pretty intense, although predictable, but it turns out that the real story this is based on did not have that death during this point of his life. It's kind of f***ed up that they put it here instead. Not cool. Overall, I don't really feel like I have much to say about this movie. It's not bad, but I probably could have written the script for this thing in a single afternoon. Most of the inspirational sport movie category doesn't really work for me, but if you're a fan of racing or the game, I think you'll enjoy it. I'm giving this one 5.5 Funtime Fox Feats out of 10. Thanks so much for watching my video! Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a fun comment. I try to respond to as many as I can. With all that said and done, I'll see you in the next one, and remember, drive safe out there. Bye!